Alright everyone, here's the newest tutorial and as you can see my desktop and taskbar doesn't look um, very familiar to regular Windows 7. That's because it's modded to look like Windows 8. Now I understand that there's a developer's preview of Windows 8 available already now from Microsoft, but for those of you that don't want to take the risk or too lazy to get a virtual machine or just much rather would like to mod your Windows 7 to look like this. I'm going to show you a simple way to do this. Alright, let's get started. You want to open up your web browser. I already have mine open and all the links, but once I update the website by the time this video is uploaded, uh, you can access the three links in the forums where the text tutorial is located or in the downloads page under the program section. Oh, So first we want to head over to Rain Meter and this is the actual program you see right here making the mosaic like tiles and all the all the interactive parts mostly and you just go ahead and download it here the latest version if you can because these things get updated very often and once you have that you can go ahead install it and everything run it and you can come over here to omnimoui.com or omnimo.info sorry and also head over to the downloads page here that will explain how you need rain meter and they'll have a link there but a little nice to see what rain meter can do besides just the omni -mode. so go ahead and download this and then once you have this installed and you can customize it to how you like as you can see my toolbar I had this special button all my windows become a little more square Maybe you can see if I open this, you can see it's a little more squarish. I've got this cool little thing here. Now, the way I got this was with this website here. Now, if you hover over Windows 8 and you head over Windows 8 Transformation Pack, this works with both 32-bit and 64-bit, just by the way, and this is what transformed just about everything else. It isn't too buggy. The the most buggy is uh, the buggiest thing out of all of these might be rain meter and it still works pretty well so after you do this you're gonna need to restart your computer and after that you can head back to this video and once you've done that you might be wondering how I got this fancy wallpaper that moves well we can head over to okozo.com for this one and we just head over here to download and then we can download any of these wallpapers after you got this one according to your processor. Now if you don't know if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit processor, you can head over to the start menu, right click computer, and go to properties. All the information will be here right in the middle. I blurred my out for security reasons. So then after you have that, head over to interactives tab or whichever you like. And if you seem to like one but you're not sure what it does, you can click it and most of these will have a preview. Like this car joystick one, pretty cool, you can move it around. Might be hard to access with these tiles here, but yeah. Well, thank you for watching, I know it was a quick tutorial, all the links are in the website. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to post it on the forum. Thank you.